What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Am Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with some brand new WWE action figure photos for you guys. We actually have quite a bit to go through here, man, and I wanted to go through it and kind of run through what we're looking at here, man. If you, if you guys remember WrestleMania Axis, we did get some, sort of some images. We really didn't get to see all the details of these different figures, so today we are going to dive into the details. I think it is appropriate, and I think you guys are going to enjoy these images. It's kind of, it's crispy. It's crispy stuff going on right here, man. So let's go ahead and get into it, man. We did have some mock images and some loose images, which is really beautiful to see. Now, starting off first, guys, we do have the top picks John Cena right here and this figure right here I don't want to get too out of pocket I don't want to get crazy guys but this figure legitimately looks like it could be a top 10 figure of the year no doubt about it I mean when you're talking about you got all these different accessories double jointed arms the only thing holding this figure back is going to be the recycled ankle mold on this guy like why in the hell can we not get new legs and new feet molds for this John Cena they have used the same feet mold for over a decade man we gotta get something new but I gotta praise the double jointed arms the the Elite 100, not Elite 100, the Basic 100 head here from the Ultimate Edition is still sweet. I love that they're using the sweatbands, right? The sweatbands look insane the way they're sculpted on. They do have the right logos. You get the hat, you get the shirt. The shirt fits phenomenal on the figure. I love the way this figure looks. I will be grabbing this a lot because it's a great base for other Cena's and it's an updated, you know, base. And it gives us base wristbands for customs and stuff. So, tons of great things with this Cena. I love it. I think it's perfection. I just hope that the waist isn't loose and these ankles just give us newly tooled ankles for the love of God. But it looks really good. I, I cannot wait for this release. It's just the perfect update to the Elite 3 John Cena. This is a freaking masterpiece. Except for the bum-ass ankles. Next up, we have the Top Picks Rey Mysterio. This one looks insane too, man. This Batman gear he's got going on. I love this head sculpt. I wish this is the head they would use on every Rey now. But the gray and the blue and the yellow and the black is a perfect contrast. You got like your classic Batman going on. I love the, the blue and yellow color. I, I mean, my mind is just racing with tons of fix-ups we can do with this guy. I love the like off-color grayish blue that the boots have. And then that bright blue and yellow Pops off. I love the wristbands. We're getting black gloves again. That's like our fourth Rey Mysterio in a row with black gloves. I would have liked to have seen something different, but I'm already thinking of really sick fix-ups with this guy. I mean, Rey Mysterio's figures are just incredible. This is no different. I love the head. The blue mask is just, just, just freaking chef's kiss this this top picks wave is insane man this top picks wave is absolutely ludicrous to be honest with you it, it is so good this ray is good next to that cena i mean i mean we just had the ray mysterio right the pink gear and then we had the black and yellow not too long ago this year is the year of ray mysterio so many ray mysterios coming even the elite 92 i mean good god man ray is getting pumped out as he always has but this one is chef's kiss it's beautiful which takes us into randy orton man look at this randy orton somebody tried to tell me it was the best Randy Orton of all time. I don't know if I'm smelling what they're stepping in there, you know. I don't know if I'm quite there, but I do like it a lot. I, I It's basically a repaint of the Elite 91 Orton, or the Elite 90, I'm sorry, but it's still really damn good. I love the double jointed arm. Any double jointed arm Randy Orton, I've always been on the boat that Randy Orton has some of the best figures. He's kind of playing Jane with his gear and stuff, man, but you throw in those tattoos and the way, it just captures him perfectly, right? I'd like to see more jacked arms, but I love the way the tattoos look. I like the black, yellow, and white. We've seen that before with the Elite 9 Randy Orton, I think it was. I like the knee pads with the RKO logos. It does kind of look like the logos on the knee pads are orange compared to the yellow on the tights, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna tear it apart. I think it's a Randy Orton that's beautiful. I'm going to grab it. This is still sweet AF, but the Elite 90 is better than this one. And finishing up our top pick set is actually going to be Drew McIntyre, and Drew McIntyre is a straight up cop re-release, man. This is the Elite Series 89. Is it 89, Drew McIntyre? It's the same figure, you know, not, not anything wild. It is the Elite 89 Drew McIntyre, so nothing too crazy, but it is the best Drew Elite they've ever made. Double jointed arms, great head sculpt, massive mountain man. What do you want to say? Drew McIntyre is a beast, and this figure looks fantastic. If you missed out on the Elite 89, perfect opportunity right here to re-grab it. Now, we're not done, Brad. I gotta get into these SummerSlam figures. We do have a look at the SummerSlam figures. Starting out first, we have the Shawn Michaels from SummerSlam 2005 in the SummerSlam 2022 Dominic Mysterio Build-A-Figure wave. This Shawn looks insane. It's basically a recap or a repaint of the Ruthless Aggression Walmart exclusive that we're going to be getting. But the double jointed arms, uh, the basic 100 head, you know, I'd like to see a new head. I really, really got to see a new head very soon. 
and I'd like to see some updates to this technology on the legs and stuff because we've seen this leg mold again just like John Cena from Elite 3 this Shawn Michaels mold has been used since freaking Elite 3 so we got to get a new leg mold or something in here change some things up step outside the box a little bit I'd like to see a new shoe mold instead of the same recycled kick pad I do like the double jointed arm I, I can swing the basic 100 at least it's not that DM head sculpt again but I still I love this figure it's beautiful we've been waiting on RA HBK figures this is perfect can't wait to grab it I think it's sweet diving into the father of the builder figure we have Rey Mysterio Look at how beautiful this figure is. Now I gotta I gotta tear it apart a little bit. You know, we gotta we gotta get into it. This head sculpt has been used for a, a thousand years now. The gear is sick AF. I love the royal blue, black, and white. I think it's really clean. I like the attention to detail with the light blue elbow pads. I think they did a great job on this. I like the torso. I like it a lot. However, you know, it's the same goofy head sculpt from a long time ago. So we, we are getting a rehash of that, but it's still a really great ray. Stands apart from the rest of our rays that we've seen in our collections and he comes with the contract and Dominic's head there so that's pretty cool there and I just hope to uh, be able to fix this guy up you know change some things around fix him up I think it's going to call for some really sweet figures and you know having a flashback right right here is really sweet really cool moment I like this figure a lot not my favorite head but you know you gotta you gotta do the things next up is a Randy Orton that I have been waiting for for years bro I have been waiting and waiting for a SummerSlam 2004 Randy Orton official figure for so damn long from Mattel and here it is so not only do we have our legend killer s young Orton we get our older Orton in the top picks way but this the only thing that pains me is I feel like the trunks aren't completely accurate I feel like the trunks are a bit too orangish instead of peachy however I still like it a lot I've had a custom of this for a while he's gonna have double jointed arms he's got a great looking legend killer head he's got Dominic shirt in there world heavyweight title what else could you ask for? This is a great figure. It's going to go perfectly up on the shelf. Maybe one of those that I grab a ton of if I see it up there. Just a, just a fantastic piece. One that I've been waiting for for so long. Even though when this moment happened in real life, I cried like a little girl. That Randy Orton's beautiful though, but I think the sleeper of the set, and I hate to say it, this figure probably is going to shelf warm, but we have to praise this sensational Sherry figure for this SummerSlam Build-A-Figure Dominic Mysterio wave. Look at the details on these sleeves and the details and the sculpts that we're getting all over it. Look at look at how great this looks, man. Incredible stuff going on. I do believe that her cheeks were out more on the back of this figure, but he, he she comes with the Dominic Mysterio legs that look super articulated. I love the white gear. I think it's fantastic. The, this sculpting is incredible. Whoever did this did a fantastic job. Uh, hopefully she's not awful to stand up, and hopefully she doesn't shelf form too bad, but uh, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I guess it's going to depend how many of these come out the stores, but I could see them pumping out four or five, you know, like sets of this to, to retail, and then the sherry just rotting on the shelves. But being it is a Build-A-Figure, I could see it getting purchased because, you know, you got to get those legs of Dominic in order to build your figure there. So that could be something that, you know, bumps this figure up, makes it, you know, it, it, it valuable. You know, that's how they get these sets out, man. You got to have a sleeper in the set that not a lot of people want, but you got to build the, you got to complete the Dom, so they're going to buy the Sherry. But speaking of Dom, this figure right here is insane, man. So now we have two little kid wrestling action figures. I mean, it's, we, I think we have to see the one-on-one, -on -one, right? We got to see the one-on-one, -on -one, negative one versus Dominic Mysterio. I don't know exactly how we could do it, but uh, th this looks insane insane man just a just a crazy figure I, I just think it's unbelievable how they've done it they got the traumatized eyes look I mean the kid looked like he wanted to cry the whole time during the matchup for for great reasons but this I love the articulation we're getting here it, it does look a bit off like it's on on its proportions but once you throw the shirt on there I think you're gonna have some good stuff here really fun it does look like he has single jointed arms which is kind of unfortunate but I think he's gonna be really poseable I bet the figure will feel good in the hand and hopefully it will be all good and well when we get it in hand, man. Really cool stuff. Can't wait to get it in hand and see how he compares to our negative one, which we will do in the review. But these figures look great, man. I had to do a video on these because I thought the loose images looked a lot better than what we saw at, you know, WrestleMania Axis. We also had some AEW figures that I'll probably do a separate video on, and I may even do a cop or pass video. If you guys want to see the cop or pass, let me know down in the comment section below, or a fix-ups video, you know, uh, potential 2022-2023 fix-ups you 
guys want to do for these figures, I could do that as well. But anyways, man, I think that is going to wrap up today's news. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I would love to know your thoughts on all these. I just think that figures nowadays are off the chain, man. I mean, it's really insane. I cannot believe all the different stuff we're getting, all the different figures, the double joint arms, the details, the shirts, the, all the goodness we're getting is just over the top, man, and it's beautiful to see. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys next time, man. Have a blessed day, and don't, uh, you, you get the deal. You cross the line, I've been